Welcome. In this video, I will show you how we can model operation using ANSYS following. So we select following. Firstly, we need to define the geometry of the model. So we click on geometry, right click on geometry and select new design. Model. We change the unit to centimeters, click on XY plane and select sketch one. And now we go to sketching, select rectangle, click on Z axis and now we define the domain okay so now we want to define the dimension of the model so we go to dimension select the height select the width so uh, the width of the domain is 100 centimeters and the height of the domain is 10 centimeters okay uh, also, we need to define the location of the inlet boundary. So we go to modify and select a split. So now we define the inlet location. So now we go dimension, select this line and also select this line. The H3 is 48 and also H4 is 48. Now we define the inlet location or inlet boundary location. Now we want to define or convert the surface. So we click on concept, concept and select surface from sketches. Now I select sketch one, click on apply and generate the domain. Now we complete the domain. Now uh, we close the modeler and now we go to mesh. Okay, uh, right click on mesh and click on edit. In this section, we create the mesh of the model. Okay, click on Z axis for better view. And now we click on mesh, right click on mesh, method, select the domain, click on apply. We use uh, three angles mesh, so we use uh, three angles and generate uh, the mesh. As you see, the mesh is not good, we need to refine it. So uh, we back to mesh and discourage the element size. To 0, 0 0.001 okay 0 the 5 yeah now uh, we generate the mesh you see that we have a mesh and now uh, also we need to define the boundary layer to capture the gradient of the pressure temperature and also the velocity so uh, right click and mesh uh, right click on mesh insert select inflation so uh, we select the domain and now we define the boundary this boundary this boundary also this boundary as well as uh, this boundary now we select this boundary we define the first layer thickness is 0 0.001 the maximum layer is 5 so now we generate a uh, damage you see that here we have a mesh with boundary layer. Now we define the boundary condition. Okay. So uh, firstly, we define the inlet boundary condition. This is inlet. So right click and this name is inlet. This boundary and also this boundary, uh, they are outlet. So we define or Rename it outlets. Okay, now also we define the heat wall. So we select this boundary and this boundary name is heat wall. Okay, so here you see that the inlet, outlet, and heat wall. Now uh, we complete the mesh, uh, generate the mesh, and also we click on up, update uh, because we want to mesh uh, go to the uh, following. Okay, now we close the mesh. Right click on setup and click on edit. Solar processes is 10. Also click uh, double precision, click on start. We want to check the volume fraction of the vapor as function of time. So we select the transient. Also we active the gravity. This value is minus 
9.81 okay so uh, because we have two material in this uh, model they are a water vapor and water liquid so we go to material right click on fluid and we define this material fluid database water vapor and also water liquid copy them close and close now uh, we go models multi-phase and we use a volume of fluid click on apply we have two phase okay now we go to phases in the pause uh, material we have the uh, primary phase the primary phase is the liquid so we select water liquid secondary phase is water vapor so we rename it vapor okay click on apply now we're gonna do pause interaction in this section we define the surface tension this value is 0 0.07 and click on apply now we go hit mass and reaction in this section we want to define the mass transfer from the liquid to the water uh, vapor so uh, we activate uh, mass transfer from liquid to the vapor and the mechanism is evaporation and condensation and the saturation temperature of the water is uh, 37.315 okay so it's good and click on ok and click on apply okay close this window now we go to the viscose because we have low velocity flow so we select laminar flow and click on ok now we go to the boundary condition the inlet boundary in this model we have initial condition in the initial condition we have only the water liquid so the volume fraction of the vapor is zero also for the inlet only we have water liquid flow so uh, the volume fraction of fraction of the water vapor is zero because we have only water liquid in the inlet so click on apply and close uh, now we go to inlet and define the velocity of the water liquid uh, the liquid flow or the velocity of the liquid is 0 0.05 and click on apply the temperature is 300 okay now apply and close the window now we go to the wall the heat wall temperature has higher temperature than the liquid temperature because we have the operation we go to temperature in the thermal section and we select temperature the temperature of heat wall is 800 so we have here temperature difference between the heat wall and the water liquid below that insert into the domain okay apply now we go to the initialization select all zones the initial temperature is 300 and the vapor volume fraction is zero because we don't have any vapor initially so uh, we click on initialize and now we go to calculation activity click on auto save and active save data okay click on okay now we go run calculation at the number of time is step 300 time step size is 0 0.01 we need to calculate the model so we click on calculate okay now we have completed the run so click on ok now we're gonna to check the result right click on result click on edit here click on the access and click on contour okay now we select the symmetry one here we select the wiper volume fraction okay now I click on apply okay here uh, you see that the volume fraction of the water in the domain uh, we want to check uh, the transient simulation so we go to the animation okay we want to use the frame so so we select a specified number of frames and the number frame is 200 
and also save movie okay now we check the transition of the water vapor volume fraction here you see that the water go up because the density of the vapor is lower than the liquid 